Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And Murray drops them both. And Boston calls time here. I don't think this timeout is just to give the guys a breather. Coach is looking to switch things up. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. Dictating the flow. Here's Bird. He's got 42. Gets the three ball to go. Bird's got 45 points. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. That's his third personal foul. At the line for Denver. Jamal Murray. Two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Here's Bird. The three! And the Celtics another three! He's having a remarkable first half from three-point land. He's been dialed in since the moment he stepped on the floor. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. The Celtics out in front running away with this one. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. On the floor for Boston. They've got Johnson, and it's McHale in at the four. And lockdown defense against one of the best three-point shooters in the league. And now we have an intentional foul. I'm not sure why. Yeah, bizarre play, B.A. Not sure what got into him. And so they foul intentionally. That's his third personal foul. Second First one falls for him. At the line for your Nuggets, Jamal Murray. And Murray drops them both. Here's Ainge. He's scoreless. Pass to McHale. Here's Parrish. Covered by Jokic. Parrish, the pass to Ainge. Here's Bird. Jokic on the double team. He drops it from range. Bird's got 51. You know, they continue to feed him the ball, and he keeps delivering the leading scorer in this one. And now we've got an intentional foul. 13 foul. At the line for And he knocks down the first one. Jamal Murray. Two shots. And Murray drops them both. And so it's Johnson with it. He brings it up for Boston. Here's Bird. And the Celtics another three. He's been playing great unselfish basketball. Really putting the rock in the hands of the right shooters. And he has shown a terrific feel for how the defense is playing him and then taking advantage of that. At the line for your Nuggets, Jamal Murray. And he can't get the first one. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Hey, Brian, well, last year the NBA created a new award. It's called the Clutch Player of the Year. It's named the Jerry West Trophy. And West said there are few greater thrills than coming through for your teammates and fans when they need it the most. This new trophy will be awarded to the player who best delivers in those moments. Brian? Now, that's a nice that's addition a there, Ali. Thank you. At the line for and he drops the first. Jamal Got a line change here for Boston. Murray drops them both. 
here in this third quarter just over a minute play and the Celtics Six call time here Sixty. They are unconscious from outside, and so far Celtics. the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole that's point, isn't it? If you space the floor well Team enough, it's almost penalty. impossible for the defense that's to account for Denver. everyone. Jamal Murray. The free throw drops from Murray. Two shots. Murray drops them both. And here's Boston. The three is up. And the Celtics another three. And since the halftime break, their offense has just been on another level. I got to believe that's something the coach talked to them about Boston at the halftime. They have valued Season. each possession. Sports personal foul. At the line for Denver, Jamal Murray. Two shots. The free throw drops from Murray. Second free throw, no good. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Buries it from three. Bird's got 18 points in just the second half. He's their go-to. They keep calling his number, and he delivers. And an intentional foul right there. At the line for your Nuggets, Michael Porter Jr. Two shots. That's good from Porter. An exceptionally skilled player. You hope Michael Porter Jr. stays healthy. I mean, his potential is limitless. 27 seconds left in the third quarter. Seasting passes to Bird from behind the arc. And again, Boston with the triple. This is unbelievable. He has over half the team's points right now. And that's an intentional foul. That's his first personal foul. At the line for your Nuggets, Jamal Murray. The first one falls. And Murray drops them both. And so it's Boston with it. And out of bounds, the Nuggets will take it. Denver ball! Denver basketball! And Coach is sure it should be going the other way. He's challenging the out-of-bounds violation. And depending on the ref's angle, an out-of-bounds violation is an easy call to get wrong. It's a great reason... The previous play is under review. Confirm on the monitor. Yeah, it's one of the main reasons the coach's challenge is in place. This isn't a judgment call. There's usually pretty clear and conclusive evidence on an out-of-bounds call.
The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And the ruling has been made. They're going to uphold the original call on the out-of-bounds violation. And as a coach, it stings to lose a timeout on a failed challenge. But it's a risk worth taking to make absolutely sure that you're not going to lose a possession on a blown call. And they go to the intentional foul. That's his fourth personal foul. At the line for your Nuggets, Jamal Murray. Two shots. No good on the free throw. He hits the second from the line. Here's Bird. There's the triple. And he can't get that one. And so it's Boston with a gigantic 33-point lead at the close of the quarter. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Here are the Nuggets with the ball. Celtics and now they decide to foul intentionally. That's his fifth personal foul. First team foul. And now we've got an intentional foul. And guys, let's get your That's take on the scoring breakdown foul. for Boston. Second what a foul. performance for beyond the arc in this game. The they stuck to their guns and it's paid off all game. I think it's also important we mention the number of assists this group has tallied. Their offense continues to just hum along right now. Manning the backcourt, it's Murray and KCP. Gordon and Jokic the combo inside. And it's Porter in at the small forward position. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. Bird, that's good. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Well, when it's closing time, he's trying to lock the door. He's been going all night. And so they choose to intentionally foul. 13 foul. At the line for Denver. Jamal Murray. Two shots. First free throw is good. And Murray drops them both. And Boston has possession. Here's Bird. Fires for three. And again, Boston with the triple. You have to show more effort defensively. Everyone knows he can do that from deep. Well, to me, that's just inexcusable. You start to wonder how much they really want this basketball game. At the line for Denver. Jamal Murray. Two shots. Free throw drops from Murray. That misses, so he splits the free throws. You know, he doesn't shrink the lead as much as he should have. That hurts a bit. Here's Bird. And again, Boston with the triple. Three. Coming down the stretch, they've leaned on the perimeter game. Boy, the three-point arc has been a major factor in what they've done here tonight. You love the aggressiveness. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking of. It's Jamal Murray. Two shots. The free throw drops from Murray. Henderson, he's checked in for Boston. And Murray drops them both. 121 left in the fourth quarter. There's the three. And the Celtics another three. Three points. A minute 15 left in the final Boston quarter. Foul. And he commits the intentional foul. Team is in the penalty. At the line for Denver. Jamal Murray. Two shots. The free throw drops from Murray. Collins, he's checked in for Henderson. And Murray drops them both. Here's Bird. And again, Boston with the triple. Since the break, he's been on point from beyond the arc. I'll tell you what, when he's this hot, 
It's a thing of beauty. A minute nine left to play in the fourth quarter. Six, and that's an intentional Six, foul. Eight. At the line for your Nuggets, Jamal Murray. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. The Celtics making a switch here. And Murray drops them both. From deep. And again, Boston with the triple. During this final quarter, he's erupted from outside the arc. Just assume every three he takes now is going in. At the line for Denver. Jamal Murray. Two shots. The first free throw is good. That one's no good. And Boston calls time here. They're leading by 39. 55 seconds left in the fourth. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game. He has truly put on a show out there tonight. Tearing it up on both ends of the floor. So impressive. And the other squad has looked helpless to stop him. Oh, man, what an effort tonight. To put together this type of game against the defending champs, that is impressive. This is why so many people hold him in such high regard. That one misses. Jamal Murray. Two shots. And the second free throw is good. 44 seconds left to play in the fourth. Here's Bird. Drills it from deep. Such a reliable threat from range. You'd think the defense might key on him a little bit more. And so they foul intentionally. That's his third personal foul. At the line for your Nuggets, Jamal Murray. Two shots. And he makes a first. Hits both from the stripe. Here's Bird. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth. Sinks the tray. Finishing the game strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. No question. They've got hot... at exactly the That's right time. Much play on a team level. And he knocks down the first one. Both good from the line that time. And we've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Bird. Another one falls for Boston. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth. And an intentional foul right there. That's his fourth personal foul. At the line for your Nuggets, Jamal Murray. First one falls for him. So he gets them both. 20 seconds left in the final quarter. Here's Bird. And again, Boston with the triple. We've got 13 seconds Boston left in the fourth quarter. And they go to the intentional foul. That's his fifth personal foul. At the line for your Nuggets, Jamal Murray. Two shots. The free throw drops from Murray. And Murray drops them both. Here's Bird. And the Celtics, another three. Five ticks left in the fourth quarter here. And he commits the intentional foul. That's his third personal foul. At the line for two. Contavious Caldwell Pope. The first one falls. 
one falls, so he hits both of them. Here's Bird. The three is up. No good. So we see the Celtics taking the W here. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. Now, shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. But as we go, let's take a look at the New Balance Player of the Game.